first topic that i want to talk about is regarding tommy richmond big up my guy tommy blood clout richmond so he just announced on his instagram that he has a new album about to drop he says announcing my debut album is called coyote back of billboard magazine thank you billboard shot by josh belvedere so i'm kind of happy with this i'm not gonna lie I, I know there's some fans out there that aren't too stoked on this but i'm actually quite happy about this so if you don't know tommy richardson tommy richmond sorry richardson richmond went viral um maybe a few months back when he dropped that song called million dollar baby which is an absolute bop it sort of reminds you of like the neptunes timberland early 2000s kind of production it maybe even it maybe actually even sounds a little bit like hot in here maybe um or there was a line does but you know that kind of bounce right so with the whole y2k trend being very much in vogue right now this sound kind of blew up his voice is very unique very sultry r&b trap soul type of sounds and just in general just something fresh uh, for people to listen to especially considering you know the r&b landscape is a little bit i would say stale but it's not where it probably should have been now especially when it comes to these sort of kids so i'm happy to see him around especially considering you know post malone has gone completely pop and country route he's kind of filled that void in terms of that you know sonic sounding whatever thing that he puts out and um you know million dollar baby did what it did i think it went to about number two in the billboard chart so it went super super crazy um i think i must have saw it maybe on instagram the first time it just kind of blew up almost kind of overnight then he followed it up with another song called devil is a lie which personally for me there was a lie is not the greatest um i feel like the best part about devil is a lie is the part that doesn't include him singing it's the start of the record there's a little like 30 second bit just before as it starts the production is just so such a bop you could probably loop that that for that first 30 seconds and have a little bit of a bounce so unfortunately um devil's a lie isn't the greatest but what i like about devil's a lie it kind of followed the same sort of vibe of million dollar baby so what i would assume is that he's probably got loads of tunes in the fucking vault that he's about to drop on the album so this is just like you know just to kind of get you excited or to get you curious for the album coming up because it didn't sound too great but i'm also aware that he probably doesn't want to blow his load too fast and drop another banger on the level of you know million dollar baby and now people not care about the album you kind of want to build a bit of anticipation and i also like and i also 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 like that he's dropping the album fairly soon he's kind of capitalizing on the momentum because allegedly according to tommy richmond fans online again i'm not that well versed on the kid i've only just got on i've only just got hip on him because of million dollar baby but according to actual tommy richmond fans he's been grinding for a while he's been you know an actual underground sensation not not a industry plant he's kind of come up the hard way and you know as luck would have it you know you don't you kind of make it on luck that song blew for a million dollar baby and he's kind of been able to capitalize it so i like the fact that he's obviously got a discography he's obviously got a catalog that he can release he's obviously confident in his sound and we just happened to see one that blew up but he's been doing what he's been doing for a while i like that kind of blow up as well because it means when the album drops it's not going to be rushed it's going to be like a build-up of his life's work it's going to be on that first album so i also like the fact that you know like i said the, the first turn the fast turnaround like hey here's my hit record it's blowing up on the flipping socials it's going up in the charts i'm not going to wait until next year i'm going to actually drop the album now which makes sense um there's still an ability to maybe drop the album now maybe go on a bit of a tour at the end of the year maybe do some of the festival circuits but just in general just to capitalize on momentum because you'd imagine you know in music with like with a lot of things in the world it's never a sure thing and it's a hard grind who knows how long this kid's been grinding who knows how long he's been putting out songs and getting like one view two listens on fucking soundcloud now he's finally got a hit record or he's finally blown up let's forget hit record i think when you're at that sort of level you don't really care about hit record you all you care about is that blowing up so now he's finally blown up music is something you can do that like professionally full time now why would you wait you know why would you wait because you never know this momentum could disappear you should just capitalize on it and just try and see what i'll go on because if he flops on this first album it was always going to flop anyway but if he's successful he can ride that wave you know for a number of years and kind of keep going on so i really do back this approach i hope the album's good when it does eventually come out um sonically and sound wise hope he just keeps honing in on that the the neptune's timberland-esque sound 
Um, especially if he's got the right producers under his belt. I think that would be flipping incredible to do. Obviously, in the future, have him having an actual record produced by the Neptunes will be sick. But unfortunately, nowadays, as much as I love Pharrell, he's just not the same. Without the influence of Chad Hugo, um, it's just not the same. You know, it's just not the same um, anymore. His productions aren't that great as they probably were. Um, maybe, again, because he's got so much on his plate, Louis Vuitton, his own brand, bloody blah, blah, blah. So maybe that's kind of, you know, kind of adding to the fact that the productions so far haven't been the greatest from Pharrell. But that will pretty that'll be a good look for him anyway if he did end up getting a Pharrell co-sign. But happy with the album drop. I love the urgency. I love the fact that they're trying to capitalize on everyone knowing who he is now and not waiting until, you know, the hype settles and then trying to recreate something. They're putting it out. They're confident in the material. And let's hope, let's hope for his sake, let's hope for his sake that when it does drop, it's flipping hard.